All right, in this next chapter is when we start talking about variables, variable expressions. And we're going to start with some definitions so that when I use these words, you guys will understand what I'm saying. So we're just going to give you some definitions. We're going to start off with first the definition of a constant. And these are the guys we've been dealing with this whole time. A constant is just, it's any number. Okay? So, and when we're talking about a constant, the, the symbol used, the symbol used for the constant doesn't change value. And what this means is that when I write something down, when I write a constant, if I were to write the constant 8, 8 is a constant. If I write this symbol now, or even in 100 years, it still has the same meaning, right? If I look at this and where its location is on the number line, it's in the exact same spot, right? If I were to write the number negative 21, that is a constant. That symbol is that of a constant. And as we progress this class, we'll start talking about things that I'm sure you guys love, like fractions. So I could say 5 over 9. That guy is a constant. I could have decimals, 4.2. Sometimes we use special symbols to represent constants when we're in a math class. Like we'll use the Greek letter pi. In case you guys have forgotten, pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. It's a fixed number. It's not a pretty number, but it is fixed. But that's what it is to be a constant. Everything we've been doing so far this semester has been a constant. But now we want to talk about what, is it, what does it mean to be a variable. And a variable is any, it's any letter or symbol any letter or symbol that represents some unknown value. It's any letter or symbol that represents some unknown value. And a lot of people's favorite example of a variable is just x. Here's the thing about x. If I see this symbol today, or even later on this class, you don't know what x represents. x could be representing 5. x could equal 100. You don't know. Sometimes you were told, this is what you want x to be. Other times you were instructed to find what x should be so that a statement can be true when we start talking about equations later on. You may use the variable y. You may use c. You may use A, I mean, any letter, really. Now, there are some variables that we reserve for some very specific situations when you get into higher math. Who knows, maybe I'll be funny with you and I'll give you something dealing with a smiley face. I could do that. So that's what happens when you're the teacher. You can do whatever you want to. Now, that's a constant. That's what it means to be a variable. And together, we look at what it is to be a term, okay? And a term, this is the product. And what does the word product mean? Multiple. Product means multiplication. So a term is the product of, it's a product of a constant and variables raised to non-negative powers. A term is what happens whenever you multiply a constant and variables together. That multiplication, that, that glue that we keep talking about, will stick that stuff together and it creates for us uh, what we call a term. So. It's very easy to come up with examples because we already have examples of constants and variables. I could say 8x. What do you see between 8 and x? Well, it's not there, but it is understood to be multiplication, right? Just like if I were to say jump. What's the subject of the sentence jump? 
No, jump is the verb. The subject is the understood you. When you give a command like that, the subject is the understood you. Don't you remember seventh grade when you did that? You diagram sentences and you, I guess we do things differently back in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, even though it's not written, it is understood to be multiplication. We say that multiplication is like what? Glue, right? Glue. It's sticky. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that across to you guys. I'm mean, bringing some glue sticks. All right. Now we can make things really crazy. We could say negative 9x to the fifth y squared. We could do that. Don't, take, don't say uh uh. It's my class. My class, my rules. This is not a democracy. This is a mathocracy. <laughs> so it's understood that there's multiplication with all that stuff, and it keeps them stuck together. Almost as if multiplication is what? Glue. Glue. Good. All right. We'll eventually get that. Addition and subtraction keep things separated. Are you with me? Now, we talk about terms. I want to talk about the coefficient as well. And the coefficient is the constant, it's the constant factor of a term. So we said that a term is a product, it's multiplication of constants and variables raised to non-negative powers. So whatever that constant factor is, that's the coefficient. It's important for us to be able to identify that coefficient both now and with things that you're going to see uh, much later on in 0308, 0310 in college algebra. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to write a term and then you're going to tell me what the coefficient is. And basically the coefficient tells you how much of that term you have. So if I were to say 8x What's the coefficient? What's that constant factor in this term? Eight. It's 8. It's basically saying, how many x's do you have? Well, I've got 8 x's. I've got 8 times x. Because you could look at this. If you looked at 8x, that would be the same thing as saying x plus x plus x plus x plus x. You'd have 8 x's, 8 add-ins of x. You with me? If you keep adding the same number over and over and over again, that leads us to multiplication. That's what's going on here. If I were to say negative 5y squared, what is the coefficient? It's not 5. It's negative 5. If I were to say w, One, even though it's not written here, this is the same thing as saying one times w. We've seen this before because one is the multiplicative identity. Remember that? You can multiply anything times one and it won't change the answer, right? So if I look at it this way, I see that yes, my coefficient is one. Questions about that? Sorry, what was the question? I still understand the question. Oh, this is a smiley face. Sometimes we use weird. So, sometimes we can have weird symbols for the variable. Oh, oh, yo, why is there not a nose? Maybe it's from a Twilight Zone episode. Sometimes things get freaky. <laughs> 